When this summer approached, I decided to begin warming up with fishing a stocked rainbow trout stream. Here we are at Borgeon, a small stream nearby where I grew up. And fishing with me today is Linnea Lund. <laughs> and we're hoping for a good day with the nice weather now when June is here. Conditions here are that we have quite some wind today. So I rigged a six weight rod in thoughts of that it would be quite windy here on the, at the water as well, but it's surprisingly calm here. Now I have a slow intermediate line streamer on a six weight. So I think it's a fun setup to fish small waters like this. It's gonna be interesting to, to give it a go here. So this is a, my second time here at this river, but first time I am at this exact part of the stream. Fishing is always the water closest. Common mistake to try to cast too far. Seldom needed, you know. Yep, got one. <laughs> it was like second cast. <laughs> Sneaky little roll cast here in this little stream. That's great stuff. <laughs> I thought I was snagged in some branches or something. Ooh. <laughs> Good jump. I just changed my brake, so I think I have my hand in the way. Crazy jump. No, no, not in there. Oh. There we go. It was just a matter of flicking out the first real roll cast here. It is very energetic here. <laughs> you know these small balls of rainbow trout. Oh, it's so difficult to hold it. I checked the water temperature and it's about 13 degrees. So they're doing very well right now. Look at that. So fun in a little stream. Great stuff. Ooh. There it goes back. <laughs> The uh, so the kerki woolly bugger in like orange and brown, some rubber legs in it. It's a bit rusty now. I used it on the coast, so it doesn't look so nice. But the color combination, quite some glitter, but still not too much. But for being this, for being a sea trout fly, it's perfect size. For this type of fishing, it's on the edge to being too big. I feel. But it worked, apparently. <laughs> oh, then it's done. Just the thing.
What a fish flop video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They are quick to go back, at least. <laughs> I held the net here. Yeah. For you to throw it in, but you missed it. A, a few centimeters outside. <laughs> I had exactly the same. Yeah. <laughs> but what a great start. Yeah. And a big nymph. There is a local trout population here and there's also these uh, stocked rainbows that they put out. It's catch and release only. And, and since, since last time they put out some yeah. rainbows here. Yeah. So I think this could be the perfect strategy for us. Just go yeah. around and fish flies underneath the surface. Yeah. And I think the rainbow, they activate the trout. Mm. So uh, maybe if we are lucky, we can get a native trout here. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, they are called, they are special trout uh, that, that they are trying to restore the, the stream and get them to be bigger again. And uh, last week when we put out the uh, rainbow, we put out some really big monsters. We'll see about that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Stepped into a hole. <laughs> So my strategy when retrieving this fly is just to keep it active, never have it sitting still, so they don't have a chance to inspect it further without feeling it. I think it's a lot about curiosity from these fish, so I keeping it, keeping it going without taking it away from them too quick. Yep. <laughs> I hooked into another rainbow here. Oh, it's strong. I thought it was small first. I don't think it's bigger than the other one, but so fun. There are just a lot of boulders here. And I'm not happy with that cast at all, or, or any of my fishing so far. It's been mostly a struggle with the terrain behind me, and also to get a good roll cast. My leader setup is more for coastal fishing, so it didn't turn over so well with roll casts, but the fish are so on. It's great fun. He came in. Very kindly to the net here now. <laughs> it's so fat. There, barbless, easy. There we go. Oh, that's a nice one. Yep. <laughs> oh, it's crazy strong. Ah. <laughs> oh. It's going like a torpedo here. Oh, my brake is too loose.
That's a nice fish. I just had slack on my line when I took the fly. Let's see here. Yes! <laughs> that was some fight. Wow. Crazy fight, nice fatty. <laughs> Gonna let it go. Did so many jumps. The fins are quite damaged. I'm impressed what a fight this put up anyways. Super cool in this little screen. <laughs> the pool is just eight meters wide. Crazy. Fun with a big fish, it's over a kilo. Jag såg den tog. Där kom flugan ut. Oh, better. <laughs> Sittande. This was for sure my fattest rainbow. It's not very long, maybe 50 centimeters or just below. Crazy fat. Just gonna swim back here. They're so bright. You can see them so well when fighting or they're following the bright black. Did you lose the fly? Yes. There's been a lot of branches caught today. <laughs> it's pretty narrow in many places. I think it might be almost a world record. <laughs> <laughs> but how would you? They are everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> but how would you summarize the day? Uh, really fun. Yeah. And great. Yeah. So we had a lot of contacts and we saw a lot of fish. Mm. And uh, yeah, amazing day. And the weather was really good. A little bit windy some some places, but good. Mm -hmm. Good day. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, great fun. It's the uh, first time I do any kind of rainbow fishing uh, like this on the channel. But uh, yeah, fun little thing to mix it up with. So I'm happy with the strategy I did yeah. with the fishing streamer all day. No. 
and being quite active, getting to lo lo like getting to know the stream. It was a bit too windy for uh, good dry fly action. But I look forward a lot to the this, this summer dry fly fishing up north. And as a video suggestion here, I will leave a link to my best dry fly day from last summer. So see you over there.